Hey everybody, it's me, LaRosha, Goddess Queen, Just Me, 23, and this is going to be another Zodiac sign reading, and Tauruses, you are up. Tauruses, this is my second time doing your video, so I'm doing it again. The other video was for 27 minutes. This video, I'm going to make it lesser than 20 minutes, um, just so I can get some things, um, I have a time schedule to go, but I did try to attempt to do your reading 20, um, before, and it was 27 minutes, and if any of the cards that pop out... Um, pop out in this reading. I will say that before I get to the readings. But again, this is going to be for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mercury, North Node. Guide it to this video if you don't have Taurus in your chart and not dealing with anybody that has Taurus in their chart as well. Um, Cuss babies, I'm including you in my reading because your sun sign represents who you're trying to be before you pass over in this lifetime. Since you are a cuss baby, that means that you are harnessing both of those energies before you pass over in this lifetime. So if I state your date of birth, that means that you're a cuss baby. If I don't state your date of birth, that means that you a regular Taurus when it comes to your sun sign. Um, so Taurus slash Gemini, May the 17th or May the 23rd. Taurus slash Gemini, May the 17th or May the 23rd. And then Aries slash Taurus, April the 16th through April the 22nd. Aries slash Taurus, April the 16th through April the 22nd. So to Aries slash Taurus, April the 16th through April the 22nd. And then um, Taurus slash Gemini, May the 17th through May the 23rd. Okay, if you're new to my channel, I do give messages to the collective before I do give my reading. So if you're pressed on time, you can always go down to the comment section of the video to go direct directly to the beginning of the reading if you're pressed on time or if you don't want to hear me talk. Moving forward, if you use your free will to state that I talk too much, you will be blocked and not be able to come back on my channel. One of the gifts that I do have is clear audience so there is music in the background the song that's on right now is hold you down featuring chris brown um august um and featuring uh future and jay and then dj uh um cow so again that could be a song very significant to you tauruses are the person that's watching this channel um this reading excuse me this channel but yeah watching this reading but again the stuff that's going on with august jada and will again very interesting their entanglement which that's in my e oracle deck that i have that card entanglement and it's just crazy how it's been popping up because i told you a lot of people are in entanglements because they have not knowing just because age don't mean nothing when it comes to a soul and spirit boo boo he does not mean that august and jada was not messing around in past lives and all this other stuff so a lot of people are waking up to those relationships that they dealt with in past lives because your soul and spirit is reviving you're returning to who you are so again everybody's getting in certain entanglements because we don't know what's been going on because of all the manipulation so if you're new to my children channel welcome if you have been here for a while thank you for supporting me um if you um interested in purchasing any of these decks that i use in my videos they're also listed in the description box of the video um also if you're interested in your birth chart it's also listed in the description box underneath the cafe astrology link as well uh north node i'm including you in my readings because your north node represents your past life karma and it represents this karma in this lifetime so it represents both and like i said since we've been retrieving our souls and spirits we're remembering who we are we're finding out who certain people are significant when it comes to who our soul and spirit have been um, on our journey when they first reincarnated to this life and then other lifetimes that have been significant um you know throughout our souls and spirits uh here on the earth okay as far as energy updates it is um 
ending of cancer season going to be coming up soon and then going into leo so that leo gates could be very significant to you tauruses or anybody that's watching this channel this video is going to be short i'm not going to be going in into energy information so um the cards have already been shuffled uh i am going to be doing certain energy update readings by myself anytime i get downloads i'm going to be writing it down but they my ancestors want the end of the readings to be short anywhere between 15 to 20 minutes so i'm going to go ahead and get started again timestamp. Um, if you're new to my channel, welcome. If you have been here for a while, if you're interested in purchasing any of these decks, they're also listed in the description box of the video. Um, energy healing, crystal stones, different things like that for your enlightenment, your growth. Okay, let me light my incense. Okay, so the song that's on right now is SLP2 by Tank, okay? Cards have already been shuffled. The main deck we're using, the Romance deck as the main deck. The other cards have already been shuffled in your energy. We're going to go ahead and cut it. Got all the elements here outside of Taurus's card here and here. So this could be significant to anybody that's watching these readings. When we get to these element cards, depending on what energies that you've been dealing with or whoever, res you know, as far as Zodiacs, your masculines and your feminines and so on. Okay. So again, Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mercury, North Node, guided to this video. If you don't have Taurus in your chart, not dealing with anybody that has Taurus in their chart north node um cusp babies and so on let me make sure the camera's going still okay and these little romance deck cards are cute so what card came out in the first time when we did it was um it's safe for you to love this person release your ex and attraction okay and the card that was underneath it was um flirt Okay, as far as the romance cards for this deck that came out on the reading that didn't say. We have love yourself first. So your self respect makes you more romantically attractive so you realizing your word chores makes you more romantically attractive are your masculine or feminine let's say it's vice versa them realizing their worth makes them more rom romantically attractive or makes them love themselves and realize their worth which causes them to be able to love you better or you love them better whichever the case may be this also could represent let's say if there was any type of deception and let's say if you did remove yourself from your masculine your feminine and you focused on yourself you took the time to heal yourself mentally physically as well as emotionally even though you were there your twin flame twin ray divine partner life partner you could have been separated from this pace person and you chose the journey of working on you and loving yourself you doing that caused a chain reaction which caused this person to realize your worth because they possibly were not seeing that because they whatever the case may be the situation they were dealing with them not loving themselves properly was not allowing them to open up and love you properly vice versa okay um but now this person is seeing your worth they're loving themselves properly now they can love you now they're in that unconditional love or you're in that unconditional love um taurus okay so it says like I said, your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. A lot of y'all could have put up boundaries with your masculine, your feminine, especially if there was a lot of hurt, a lot of toxic energy. Um, if they were more negative energy, this could have been family and friends separating yourself from inner people that was no longer serving you, um, you know, as well too, okay? Um, you have free yourself. So freeing yourself. So the release your ex was in this position, the second card and freeing yourself. So I see that somebody is going to be relieving, releasing their self from a situation that's no longer serving them. Them also taking back control. This also could represent, let's say if somebody was getting hold back with this ring, let's say this is a ring. Okay. It's a circle, the ring of fire battles. A lot of us had that battle that came out because Sagittarius card came out in this card. 
this deck okay um in the in the sexual magic deck so a lot of us been going through these ring of fire battles so a lot of people's souls and spirits are getting free so they're gaining back control of who they always been so now let's say if if you are a twin flame twin ray divine partner life partner if they were with a karmic karmic soulmate family friends addictions whatever the case that was a big problem as far as when it comes to y'all's completing y'all's journey and y'all's being in mission this card represents somebody letting go of something and now they're going to Towards. they're charging they're the horse they're coming in um you know fast rushing towards their destiny and towards you could be somebody's destiny or you could be seeing your masculine your feminine as destiny because they set themselves free from something that was no longer serving them so it says it's time to take back control of your life so a lot of y'all could be seeing a lot of fours a lot of twos at this time because twos represents your union and balance and then fours represent stability as well as control okay we have soulmate. So I told you somebody's realizing who their true soulmate is. This also could be some of y'all. Let's say it could be a soulmate relationship. It does not necessarily have to be your masculine, your feminine. So some of y'all could be, you know, have a, a soulmate that's you um, that's interested in you as well because this is coming out in the attraction. Attraction was the, the third card that was here. So I'm seeing that some of y'all could have soulmates that are taking part of this divine feminine, divine masculine. If it's not that case, it could be your divine feminine or divine masculine. Um, that's far as your twin flame twin ray divine partner and like i said some soulmates are also taking part of the ring of fire battles as well so they're setting their freeze and their souls and in spirits to, um too as well as we are as you know twin flames twin rays divine partners life partners family and friends are going through their same things as well okay um enemies all everybody is participating in this these bloodline battles these ring of fires these phoenix rising dark night of the souls all that okay um you have for, uh, forgiving and learning so there was a situation that you and this person needed to forgive um a lot of learning again the learning could have been painful situations that caused a lot of trauma um you know conflicts to the relationship between you and this person okay there is somebody that's asking for forgiveness or taurus you your masculine your feminine could be asking you for forgiveness this is you also letting go of any resentment or any bitterness which is causing you to not move forward in a situation so i feel a lot of y'all are setting y'all free self free from the past old ways certain things that were not serving you are causing you from moving forward in your growth and your abundance so it says for forgiving and learning so a lot of y'all know that this situation was a learning experience for you again some of them possibly were dealing with karmics or karmic soulmates um family friends that was a learning experience for you tourists or your masculine your feminines so it says as you release and heal the past um the you experience more love in your present moments okay so that's the card that we get here so a lot of y'all are letting go past this could be past childhood wounds uh relationships morals that they learned from their child their their parents hurt that they got from their parents family members as well okay um we have the four of cups so this represents settling down it represents a marriage it represents a union it represents a commitment so two people working as a team becoming partners um as far as friends and lovers um you know working as a team to build a solid foundation so this person is you know coming in they're wanting to work with you they're want because they freed themselves from a situation that was no longer serving them um now this person again you see the magnet you see the scissors you see a it looks like a, a horseshoe coin. It looks like a coin or it could be a makeup um, a mirror. But magnetic attraction between you and this person. You have that four. I told you some of y'all are seeing a lot of fours right now. So a lot of y'all are gaining y'all stability. You have the moon card. So there could have been some secrets that could have got exposed. Let's say if this was their ex in with that card being here before releasing their ex, there could have been some deception. There could have been some lies. That some things that was hidden um, that you were not aware about, Taurus, or your masculine and feminine was not aware about when it comes to this ex or who, whatever it is that they're freeing themselves from. I do feel that somebody got some type of awareness, some type of illumination um, of some secrets, some things that were hidden. Some of them could have been, like I said, you know, in other relationships, dealing with other women, other 
a man, the karmic or the karmic soulmate, their mother, the child, the father, the child could have been involved with somebody else is what I'm getting as well. But I do feel that there was a lot of illusions as far as when it comes to this relationship that they were involved with this person. So this represents energy as far as Pisces. Okay. This is also somebody setting themselves from their shadow side or also, like I said, setting themselves from the, the, the Phoenix rising battles or the ring of fire battles that took part on um, June the 21st. Okay. Um, we have the stars. So this is that major transformation, that growth. Okay. Can we just talk that's coming in? So this person, like I said, came to, had that epiphany. They won their battle. Now this person is coming in because they see you as a star. They had this major transformation. They see you as their destined soulmate. Um, this person possibly won, you know, um, access to be part of this masculine feminine. If this is a soulmate, because again, they, 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 Everybody I feel that's coming to you now had some type of transformation when it comes to their spirit and their soul. So they're rising from the ashes, okay? Um, Sagittarius, uh, this represents energy as far as uh, Aquarius, as far as the star card. The moon card, like I said, represents Pisces. So I feel that there's some intimacy between you and this person. I feel that there's a lot of celebrations that's going to be had between you and this person as well. But I feel that they were wanting to start a brand new beginning. You are their star. You have always been their shining light. I feel that they... Um, them escaping and going to you, you, if you are destined and they know that you're destined to be with them, you, um, you know, their ancestors are shine. Like there's a light that's directed from you to them. And that's all they're seeing right now is that light. And I, I need to get to my masculine. I need to get to my feminine. Okay. Is what I'm getting with this type of energy. Okay. You have the ace of wands. So the ace of cups came out earlier. So the ace of wands coming out. So this is them fighting. This is them determined. This is them, you know, taking part and putting in action and going towards you, breaking free from whatever they needed to break free from, um, regardless if it's going to cause, you know, a fight or whatever the case may be, they're willing to take up that fight. This represents energy as far as inspiration motivation as well okay um, but taking charge movement we have the sun card being reversed so some of them could be ending a relationship with the fire sign an Aries Leo as well as Sagittarius if that or this could represent Leo if it's not that some of them could have been also scared to approach you or go through this major transformation or even just y'all's journey um, or them just putting action and committing some of them could have been non-committal because again they were not loving themselves properly um, again some of y'all were not loving y'all self properly were not having boundaries but I feel that this person is no longer afraid of y'all's journey I feel this person did the necessary transformation some of them were also dealing with somebody that was holding them back so there could have been a feminine another a, ma a feminine or a masculine that was holding your masculine your feminine back is what i'm getting from this too we have the death card so yeah definitely endings transformations rebirths so you have one two three here Four major arcana cards and one ace card. So this is definitely a spiritual connection that was destined from the universe, your ancestors, your higher self. You and this person was meant to go down this path, go through these life experiences. Um, this also represents one letting go of their ego. This is also Scorpio. So some of them could have been dealing with somebody that was, you know, into black magic spell work because that did come out in the other reading that somebody could have been using spell candle magic or candle sex magic in order to keep somebody stuck again to holding this person back is what i'm hearing um but i do feel like i said there was a major transformation somebody went through the dark night of the soul or they won a spiritual battle like the ring of fire or a masculine they won a battle against your masculine your feminine in order to present themselves if this is a soulmate okay um yeah, the four, another four. So I told you a lot of fours, y'all. A lot of fours. So four, so this is basically mirroring each other. Y'all both want this commitment. Y'all both are going to put action into this relationship. So four, four, four could be significant to you, Tauruses, okay? The five of pentacles. So this represents energy as far as feeling abandoned. So this person left you feeling abandoned one time and point of your life because, again, they were dealing with other people. They were attached to other situations, regardless if this was a karmic, karmic soulmate, drugs, alcohol, because you have, you know, the sun card being, because this could have been an addiction and it's touching this a star card and the sun card is reversed. So it could have been a sex addiction, drug, uh, drugs, alcohol that was causing this person to abandon it their divine feminine divine masculine okay um, but i do feel that somebody was holding onto somebody too tightly as well um this also you see the scorpio so y'all definitely could, it's falling on scorpio so definitely somebody can be dealing with somebody that is a scorpio okay 
you have the knight of swords so this person is gaining the clarity they seeing through the bullshit they're no longer uh seeing you know living in the illusions no longer wearing their rose colored glasses they're getting the signs and synchronicities now this person is cutting out what's no longer serving them okay possibly y'all were the, the the knight of swords to this person okay cutting them out no longer putting up with this bullshit separating yourself having to free yourself from this person because this person could have been playing mind games Let's say if they were involved with somebody else, okay, um, or they knew how to manipulate you, okay, but somebody that they were involved with was also manipulating them as far as when it comes to this karmic, this karmic soulmate, they could have been also talking badly about you is what I'm hearing as well. You have the strength card, so wow, look, definitely a Leo in, in place, okay, definitely Leo in here. Leo's gate is definitely going to be significant to you, Tauruses, or anybody that's watching this reading, okay? And that's when the divine feminines, divine masculines had that issue with everything, okay? So that's also going to be there too. And then we have Scorpio. Wow, more Scorpio energy. Definitely Scorpio energy. Deaths and transformations. And then Capricorn, okay? So Capricorn can be significant, which is next year, which is going to be the start of when you see these mass unions going and happening because all these people are battling in the spiritual realm. So that could be significant to y'all as well. So Scorpio, Capricorn, make sure y'all watch those two readings for the end of the month and the month of June. So hopefully this reading resonates with you. If it does resonate with you, like my channel, subscribe to my channel. And I just want to say thank you and you have a great day, Tauruses, and thanks for being here. Yeah, <laughs> baby.